In my previous video, I covered the process of determining the reduction factor for a wire sling when lifting a load, whether it is a single vertical hitch or a multiple leg hitch. If you have not yet watched the video, I will include the hyperlink to that video in the description. When using a sling in a choke configuration, also known as a basket hitch or choker hitch, where the sling is wrapped around the load and then attached to the lifting device, it's important to understand that the capacity of the sling is reduced compared to its vertical or straight lift capacity. In today's video, I will show you how to do manual computation the reduction factor when it comes to rigging choker hitches and basket hitches. Here are example images, showing the use of a choker hitch with both a chain sling and a wire sling. When utilizing a chain sling or webbing sling for a choker hitch, the reduction ratio is 20% of its capacity. However, for a wire sling, the reduction factor is 25%. Rated load for angle of choker less than 120 degrees shall be determined by sling manufacturer. Example, let's determine the reduction factor for wire slings and chain slings when used for a single vertical choker hitch. Let us assume the wire sling capacity or SWL is 10 ton. To calculate the changed safe working load, SWL, for both wire slings and chain slings, just multiply the original SWL of the sling by the reduction factor. The wire sling has a reduction factor of 75%, while the chain sling has a reduction factor of 80%. Next, how about when using a two-leg or four-leg choker hitch, what is the reduction factor that we need to consider? The angle formed between the legs of the sling in a choke configuration affects the sling's capacity. As the angle decreases, the load on each leg of the sling increases significantly, leading to a reduction in the sling's overall capacity. This phenomenon is similar to the sling reduction factor discussed earlier, where the angle from the horizontal plane affects the effective load on the sling. Let us consider the length of sling as shown in the slide, and center of gravity is at the middle of the load. To get the reduction factor when dealing with two leg choker hitch, first we need to determine the height of the sling. To calculate height of the sling, please follow the formula as shown. After getting the height of the sling, you can start to calculate the reduction factor. This is the same formula we used in the previous video. Height of the sling divided by the length of the sling. Once you get the reduction factor, start to calculate the new SWL of sling. Multiply the original SWL of the sling to 75% and to reduction factor. For the chain sling choker hitch, the computation is the same, with the only difference having the reduction factor of 80%. Next, let us do the reduction factor calculation for basket hitch. 
basket hitch has a twice the capacity of a single leg only if the legs are vertical or at 90 degrees. This reference shows the angle that needs to be determined in order to calculate the reduction factor for a basket hitch. You can use it either for circular loads or for loads with corner types. It is important to always put padding between the sling and the load to prevent damage to the sling as it bends around the corner of the cargo. Now, let's determine the maximum weight that may be safely lifted using a single basket hitch. To determine the new safe working load, SWL, for the sling, to get the new SWL just multiply the SWL of the sling by the value indicated on the chart. When the sling leg is in a vertical position, the safe working load, SWL, of the sling is doubled. Next, how about when the sling is bent over the load, what is the sling capacity? Consider the sling is bent and form angle of 60 degree. Due to angle form on the sling, the capacity of the sling is reduced to 170% compared to vertical to 200% on 90 degree angle. Next, how about when using two leg basket hitch? This is the same method and formula that we utilize on choker hitch. We need to find the height of the sling. Once we get the height of the sling, we need to divide this height of the sling into length of the sling to get the reduction factor. And once we get this value, we can start to calculate the new SWL of the sling by multiplying the original SWL to angle factor and reduction factor. Here are sample of images and video using basket and choker hitches.